it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and here are your card readings for the coming week. These are general readings so take from them everything that resonates with you, leave anything else behind but most of all enjoy a really positive week. I'll be using my teacup tarot deck. So let's get on with your readings. This is the reading for Sagittarius. And your overall energy here is the card, the Six of Coins. This has appeared quite a few times in the readings this week. And it's lovely. It's pennies from heaven. It's gifts and abundance finding you this week. Look at our lovely angel. She thought it was raining. Here are all these lovely little gifts from the universe, abundance, opportunities coming in to find her. So they're looking for you. You make sure you look out for them. Your help or your hurdle, we have the six of wands. The victory card. This is the card of success. This is the card of victory, of joy. Look at the angels waving the flags. They're absolutely delighted. It's the achievement of a goal. It's wishes being fulfilled. So what a lovely card here for you. And your guidance, again, this card has come up more than once this week. It's number 18, the moon. Now, this reminds you that the answers lie within. To go within, trust your intuition and do what feels right. And our lovely angel here, look, her lovely lantern is guiding her way. She's walking along. She's following her intuition, but also the full moon is lighting her path as well. And the message with this is that there may be more information coming to light. So this week, make sure if you need to find out any information, that you make sure you have all of the information you need, because there may be something missing just now that you're not quite certain about. How can we help ourselves? The Four of Coins card reminds you to consider situations of too much or too little. And our lovely angel here, look, she's trying to balance the scales, but she has too many coins on one side and not enough on the other. So this reminds you to get work-life balance in balance. Are you spending too much? You're saving too much. Are you giving too much of your time without taking time for rest and to re-energize yourself? So consider all these situations and get a really good balance between the two. And pulling it all together, we have the lover's card, number six again. And this card reminds you to make choices and decisions from the heart. And our lovely angel here, look, she's looking at the roses at the flower stall and she's taking her time and she's deciding which one she would really love, which one is going to be just right for her. And that's just what you need to do with your choices and decisions this week. Choose what makes your heart sing, choose what feels right for you. And our final outcome card, the Ace of Coins, is the card of opportunity and abundance. Our angel here, she's found the keys to the treasure chest and there's her opportunity. And just as importantly, she's ready to receive it and she's walking towards it. So new opportunities, the Ace of Coins talks about a new job, it could be a new career, it could be a, um, an improvement in your finances a new area of study. Stay awake for these opportunities. They're looking for you. It's mentioned twice in your reading. So let's just clarify with the Time to Shine deck. The Six of Emotion card is a card of the past and it reminds you to consider what you always wanted to do. So there might be something that you've always wanted to do but the timing has never been just the right time. 
now could be that time. So doing what you've always wanted to do, when these opportunities come along, can be very good mindfulness for you this week. The six of thought, another six, this is the fourth one. The fifth six, if that makes sense. Another six, the six of thought, positive new energy coming in, time to move on, enjoy an improving situation. Sometimes it can mean going on holiday, but generally it's moving on and feeling good. The two of thought is about making decisions and it's telling you that intuitively you already know what to do. This is the card of decision making and this has come out again here. Trust you already know what to do. Make sure you've got all the information. There might be something that you don't know yet that you need to find out. And when you've got all your information together, make that positive choice. The seven of emotion, again, is about choices and decisions. This is the third time this has been mentioned. This reminds you to choose with care. And our lovely angel here, look. She's got two plants. She's got a sunflower or a cactus. Choose the sunflower. So that means stepping back, looking at all your options and thinking it all through with care before you decide. And the four of action card is the card of celebration. It's of happiness. It's recognition and appreciation. So a lovely card of celebration and success coming in here for you. And the final card, the 12 of wisdom, says it's time for you to celebrate your individuality, find new perspectives and look at things in a positive new light. These new opportunities are finding you, they're looking for you. Be your own individual lovely self Consider doing something that you've always wanted to do and then time to move on and feel good. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button, make the bell ring, then you'll get notified when I do the next one for you. So take care now and I'll see you soon.